Hey, what's up folks? My name is Guaran, you guys are watching Refund the Roof YouTube channel. This past week I tested my Vortec battery backups on my MP10s and MP40s and here's the result. I tested single Vortec battery backup on one MP10 and lasted 79 and a half hours and then afterwards I test Vortec battery backup on single MP40 and last exactly 46 hours. And here's how I did a test for both of these. Of course I unplugged power supply off of Vortec battery backup and off of empties and I had both pumps running on 20% and afterwards I attached small piece of plastic bag on the Vortex. Had my camera set up so it's looking straight at them just in case when I'm sleeping when I'm not home to know exact time when the Vortex stopped. This is one of the big reasons why I have empties at the first place so I just wanted to double check the results that I see on internet since I've had MPs together with Vortex battery backups for quite some time now. I believe all of them are around two years old or so. So I just wanted to check if the age of the pump and age of the battery backup will still hold up and it actually did pretty good as you guys can tell. I haven't tested MP60 since I don't own one but just me looking at the wattage and how long MP10 and MP40 went, I can tell for sure that MP60 will go over a day when one single battery backup. Since MP10 is lasting so long on one single battery backup, if you guys have two MP10s, I'll hook those up for sure. Since when you're purchasing a Vortex battery backup, you'll get two cables so you can hook up two pumps on that battery backup. So you have two MP10s, I would either hook up two MP10s on one single battery backup, or you can ramp up your MP10 on 50%, which is maximum for all MPs. And you can do that by just going into the Mobius app and go into devices to your pump and then go into the settings and over there you're gonna see when it's in battery backup mode. In my area where I live I don't have any issues with electricity going out for a long period of time since all of my lines are on the ground and me having worked battery backups to run this long it's honestly overkill but I know if your electric lines are especially next to old trees every single time store hits you're gonna lose electricity and you might want to run your mp10s or mp40 on 20 percent or so but me after seeing the results i hooked up both of my mp10s on one battery backup and then i left my mp40 to run a separate battery backup and in that way i have all my mps running approximately a similar amount of time on my last video i talked about dual return pump setup and with me having that plus mps running a vortex battery backup will make me sleep way better a few other reasons I like MPs. First reason is a battery backup. Second reason is because they're very, very easy to clean. Third reason is because they look sleek in a tank. There's no visible cable since all that is outside the tank. And fourth reason is, is they have a killer customer support. If you never ran MPs, trust me, the first time when you clean wet sides of MP10s, MP40s, whatever you're gonna get, you're gonna see how huge of a difference it is comparing to cleaning the other pumps. And yes, I had some issues on my MP10s, not so much my MP40s, but as soon as they contact customer support, they came back to me right away and they placed that website without asking any questions. And honestly, if you're a powerhead manufacturer, consider adding up a battery backup to your lineup since battery backups make such a huge difference which you guys seen in this video honestly when i was doing the test i was questioning myself if this is real have i forgot to unplug the power supply and i kept checking because they were just lasting so long and honestly for this hobby we don't really need our pumps to run over 24 hours since in that case we're gonna have to get generators especially if we have acroporas or other sensor coils in our tanks since we're gonna have to be running the rest of our equipment as well if you guys made it so far, make sure to like the video, subscribe, go and check out my last video where I talked about the best return pump setup. And with all that out of the way, see you guys in the next video. Peace.